Hey guys, Guns and Games here, back with a, another video here today. Today we're going to do a quick overview slash review of a gun I picked up off of uh, jngsales.com. This is the Astra A50, which is a deviation or a variation of the somewhat more well-known and famous Astra Constable. Um, this is essentially, both of them are essentially Spanish-made copies of the Walther PP and PPK. So, um, this one varies a little bit. They were, uh, the Astra Constable was chambered in 380, 32 ACP and 22 LR, while the A50 here was only chambered in 380 and 32. This is the, uh, 32 ACP version. I got this gun for $279.99 plus shipping uh, and transfer fee. So a little over $300. It came with nothing else, just the gun and a cardboard package box with some foam filler. That was it. Giving you some context and history again, this is uh, basically, again, a Walther PPPPK clone. It was adopted. Both versions, this and the Constable, were used by the Spanish police forces. Um, the Constable entered production in uh, 65. The A50 was uh, 69. And they were both produced up until about 1991 or 92. And again, were used by the Spanish police forces in the country. Uh, I would assume until at least production stopped, and maybe even throughout the 90s in some places, I would imagine. The gun does differ a little bit from the Constable uh, in basically four ways. Um, obviously, like uh, unlike the Constable, this one was not chambered in 22, so that's the first difference. Second difference is the safety. Uh, this one has a frame-mounted safety down here, while the Constable was slide-mounted, like a true proper Walther PPK or PP. Uh, this gun is also single-action only, so hammer is up. Gun will not fire. Single action only. Unlike the Constable and any Walther PP or PPK uh, are double action, single action. So, uh, and like those guns, the safety on those guns is a decocker or, as well. This is not. So, um, third difference is uh, the Constable had a slide release. Um, this does not. Right? Or four, I'm sorry, fourth and final difference. Uh, second difference was safety. Third difference was single action. Fourth and final difference is the slide release. The Constable had a slide release. This does not. The Which is actually true to form. The Walther PP and PPK did not have a slide release. So this stays true to form by not having it, while the Constable does have a slide release. Kind of weird. The Constable's slide release is basically roughly right here and it looks kind of like a sig like a sig 226 or something's uh decocker or or slide release basically looks basically the same so uh both of these guns actually disassemble differently than a walther as well uh the walther has a uh, the, the trigger guard that hinges down you hinge it down and move it to either side and you just kind of pop pull back and pop the slide off. These have these uh, tabs and it's on both sides. You just pull both tabs down at the same time, kind of like a Glock, and then while holding it down, so you kind of hold it down with one hand and with your other hand you pull and take off basically. Uh, kind of difficult. It actually took me uh, several minutes to actually get it down and, and, and get it down properly and putting the gun back on was actually Putting the, 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 the slide back on was also somewhat difficult. You have to hold them down again. It, it, was, it took me like five minutes to actually figure out. Um, it was kind of difficult. So I'll just come in here, show you the slide. You have Astra, Astra Unceta, CIA, Guernica, Spain, Model A50. Get some close-up shots. Flip it over. Pretty cool. It's uh, again basically just a wall. It's a really cheap budget Walther PPK or PP clone. It's a three and a half inch barrel. 
just like a Walther PP, uh, PPK. The PP is, uh, I think, 3.9. So it's a little bit smaller. It's basically a true PPK, basically. Um, unloaded, it's about 25 ounces. 28 ounces. 25 ounces unloaded, depending on which caliber it's in. It's probably 27 to 28 ounces loaded. It might vary a little bit. Standard push button release, just like a Walther. Eight round single stack magazine. The 380 models are six or seven rounds, depending on which one. Constable is seven. The A50 is six, I think. And uh, the Constable in 22 is 10. So, um, again, single action only. You know, can't pull the trigger. It uh, safety works. Does not have a disconnect safety, which is good. Trigger is, uh, I'll show you the sights too. Not bad. Trigger is really good. Really good single action trigger, I gotta say. Um, mag release is very easy. Um, very easy to put magazines in. Slide is kind of typical of smaller handguns. It's, n it's not difficult, but it's not, I would say it's easy. And it, it again, lacks a slide release. So, not the best, but it uh, fits pretty good in the hand. I have just enough to uh, put all three fingers on. I haven't shot it yet. I've only had this gun for like 10 days. So, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, J&G still has them. They've had them now for about two weeks. Again, $279.99. Not bad, it's pretty cool. Another knockoff budget Walther PPK clone, if you're interested. I have a, I have a couple of them now. I'll probably never own a real Walther PP or PPK or like a Nazi, a Nazi marked one at this point. They're just too expensive nowadays. But there are a lot of good alternatives like this and the, uh, you've got like the FEG, the various Hungarian FEG ones, um, the Czech CZ70 and CZ50 are effectively the same gun as well. Um, lots of good cheap alternatives. So, not bad. I'm pretty impressed for $279. Can't beat it. It is in, as you can tell, it's in beautiful shape. Bore is mint. Um, it's in really, really good shape. All numbers matching. I also forgot to show that. It says 7.6532 on the other side. Pretty cool. Not bad. Um... I don't know where, uh, I haven't been able to find any other extra magazines or anything for it online yet, but I'll keep looking. Um, so I can't give you really a, pi a price quote on the magazine cost. But it's pretty cool. Looks like it's maybe not a bad concealed carry choice if it was in 380. If it was the 380 model, I would probably consider carrying it. If it was the Constable version with 7 rounds, I would actually probably consider carrying it. It, it would be, I think, a pretty decent concealed carry choice. It is all steel, so it is kind of heavy compared to like a Ruger LCP or something. But it's not a bad choice if you can get the Constable version in 380. You know, you have a, I would say, a pretty decent concealed carry option if you want to be a bit unique and not use, a, again, an LCP or a Baby Glock or a Taurus 738 TCP or something. Pretty cool. I recommend it. Um, I Like I said, I do believe they're still in stock on J&G &G, &G sales website, so... If it interests you, I'd recommend you go check it out and buy one. $279.99 again. Um, I couldn't really give you any hist other history because there's just nothing out there about this gun, really. There's a decent amount out there about the Constable, uh, somewhat. But the A50, I hadn't even heard. I had heard of the Constable, obviously. But I had never heard of the A50. Did not know this gun existed until I was checking j and website and they had it in. Had no idea. And then Googling it um, and looking at it online, there are no videos of this gun. There's a lot of Constable gun videos, but there are no videos out there about the A50 in particular and almost zero information online. So I figured I would throw my hat in the ring and get it started. Um, so, I mean, that was kind of, uh, kind of interesting, just another kind of obscure gun. And I've always kind of won in one of these, either now this one or the Constable, because I saw it very famously in the uh, the movie Taxi Driver. Um, De Niro's character carries a Constable, actually, at one point. 
uh, in the scene in the convenience store where he shoots the robber that had the revolver. He's actually carrying a constable there. Uh, so ever since I saw that scene, I always kind of wanted one of these. I thought he was carrying a Walther um, PPK. I always kind of assumed, but then I went on uh, the internet movie database, gun database, and uh, no, he was carrying a constable, which is pretty cool. So now I have the gun kind of from the movie, but he was using the, uh, he was using the 380 model. But uh, I have aesthetically looking the same gun now, which is pretty cool. So, just thought I'd throw that in there as a sort of a pop culture reference. Um, that's really about it. Not a whole lot else to say. Not a lot of information out there. I'm impressed just by the condition mainly. Just how beautiful it looks. Really good looking gun. Sharp. Not bad. 10 out of 10. Highly, again, highly recommend you buy one if, you, uh, if this interests you. And uh, that's going to about do it then. I'll gonna try and keep this video a little bit short. I am Guns and Games. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.